It seems that most people that modify their car try to squeeze as much power out of them as possible, myself included. Typically doing the basic bolt-ons, like a short ram, cold air intake, or an aftermarket exhaust system. But is there anything else we can do to increase power? And more specifically, increase airflow? Of course, there's always the option of forced induction. Adding a turbo or a supercharger to the car can add significantly more power. But one of its biggest drawback is the actual cost of doing that to your vehicle. So is there a way to increase airflow while keeping the costs relatively affordable? Well, we'll do that with this. So this is a throttle body. The throttle body is what controls how much air goes into the engine. The more you press down on the accelerator pedal, the more this flap inside of here opens to let more air inside the engine. And by having more air going into the engine, we'll be able to have more power. So why is this throttle body an upgrade for the two liter Sky Active engine? Well, this throttle body came out of a 2014 Mazda 6 with the Skyactiv G 2.5 engine. So the fact that the engine is a larger displacement, it needs more air to come into the engine. By taking the throttle body out of the 2.5 liter engine and putting it on a two liter, we'll have an upgraded throttle body. All right, so I got both throttle bodies out of the car. Just wanted to make a quick comparison on how they compare to each other. When I was first unbolting the two liter throttle body, I measured the outside diameter of the throttle body to compare it to the 2.5 liter I had just received. And honestly, I was quite shocked because I thought the diameter on the outside was gonna be bigger, but it's not the case. So I kind of got scared thinking that the throttle body would just be the same. But then when I took out the intake, I realized that there was a bit of a ridge on the inside of the two liter and it's not there on the 2.5. So on the inside, it's as if the uh, 2.5 throttle body got ported a little bit. So you can see that uh, the air goes straight into it. And then on the two liter, if I continue here, there's a bit of a, a ridge right here or a lip. There's a bit of a lip that kind of um, funnels it to a smaller throttle body. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of results we see in the car with the 2.5 uh, throttle body. Honestly, this took me about five, 10 minutes to install while filming. So it's a very quick and easy mod to install. Uh, a lot of the hassle was because the cold air intake was in the way. So I'm assuming if you have a stock air box, it would actually make it easier because you can remove the whole uh, upper air box out of the way completely to have more room to access the four bolts out of the throttle body. So let's go install the 2.5 in the car and let's go for a drive and see how it feels. So you might be wondering if you can go a step further than the throttle body and install a 2.5 intake manifold. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. The 2.5 intake manifold is wider than the 2 liter and I did purchase one and it didn't fit. All right, so with the engine all warm, I'll be able to do a quick uh pull with the car and see if it really makes a difference or if I can actually feel a difference with the throttle body. So here we go. Just 
just first impression, I feel like the car pulls a lot more at the higher RPM. Uh, so past like four, 4,500, I feel like the, the car pulls a lot more. And I'm actually surprised because there's a lot more induction sound coming from the intake. So it's even more amplified uh, with the actual intake. So that's quite interesting, honestly, to see those kind of results just by having a larger throttle body. Yeah. Definitely pulls more at the higher RPM. So I would say that like for the ease of installation, it's easier to install than a cold air intake. I would say it's probably as easy to install uh, as a short RAM intake. Uh, only a few bolts to install to take off and to put it back on. And for the cost of it, I got this uh, throttle body, I think it was off of Mazda 6 or something with a 2.5 Sky Active on eBay. I think I paid roughly around $100 for it uh, used. So I think for the cost of it and for the benefit of what you get uh, performance wise, I think it's definitely worth it. So obviously if you wanna take advantage uh, fully of this mod, like most bolt-on mods, uh, it's better if you do get the cartoon, especially by changing the throttle body because now there's a lot more air coming into the intake system. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode today. If you have any questions concerning the throttle body upgrade, just let me know in the comments below and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.